Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to go through three motion variables uh, that tell you about where you are, where you're going, where you've been. Uh, position, displacement, and distance. We're going to define them, talk about their equations, and then I'm going to work two examples uh, in which we have to uh, figure out figure out position, distance, and displacement. So let's quickly define our three variables uh, of where. First of all is position. Position is just where an object is. That's the lay definition and that's that's the definition. Position is a vector because in order to talk about where something is, you can't just say how far it is away from you. If I say that you're 200 meters away from me, that doesn't tell you are. I have to say that you're 200 meters north of me. So position is usually a length away from a reference point and the direction away from a reference point. Its variable is going to be x, y, or r. Uh, next up we have displacement. Uh, when something is displaced, it moves. It changes from one position to another. So displacement is just going to be the overall change in position. Change in position. And it's the overall change in position. So all that matters is the change from your starting point to your ending point. The path doesn't matter. Displacement is path independent. Displacement is also a vector. Um, if I move 4 meters to the east or I drive 25 kilometers north, my displacement is 25 kilometers. That's the magnitude of this, the displacement. And the direction is to the north. Um, the variable that we're going to use for displacement is going to be s. At least s is the variable in the IB, and it's often used in math. Some other common variables for displacement are delta x, delta y, or delta r. And that comes from the fact that, well, if s is displacement, and displacement is change in position, delta of a variable just means change in that variable. So displacement is change in position, or change in x. And that change is always going to be the final value minus the initial value. So displacement is going to be final position minus initial position. And it is a, it is a vector quantity, um, so we're going to have to keep that in mind. We are going to have to take into account direction, but I'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, one other thing to note, uh, to find the total displacement, if you do several different motions, uh, you can just add all of the individual displacements. For example, if I go 4 meters east, then 2 meters to the west, I add my 4 meters east vector and then my 2 meters west vector, and I'm going to get my overall displacement of 2 meters east. My final position was 2 meters east of where I started. Our last variable is distance. And distance is a scalar quantity. Distance is just the length of a path that you travel. Um, it's a scalar. It's always positive. It doesn't have direction. If I go around a 400 meter track, um, I have traveled a distance of 400 meters. Even if I end up in the same place where I started, my displacement would be zero because I'm in the same place where I started. But I've traveled a distance of 400 meters. The variable that we use for distance is uh, it's often lowercase d. Um, and just like displacement, we can add up individual distances to get the total distance. All of these variables are measured in units of length or distance, so they're going to have units of length. The SI unit of length is the meter.